If you're planning on self-publishing your ebook and putting it on Smashwords or Book Baby, you're going to need to have it in an EPUB format. There's a free program called Sigil that allows you to do that step-by-step uh, -step without having to put in all the coding manually. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is load in your, your book cover. Uh, I got mine through Fiverr, paid five bucks. I think it looks great. Um, so you can go to Tools, Add Cover, pick your file, load that up. I would recommend doing a PNG file because I tried some other types and it didn't work, but this one came out with no errors. So uh, I say go with that. And then what you'll do from there is add a blank HTML file. And just do that for however many components, like your title page, your, your copyright page, uh, all your chapters. Just build it out uh, as, as many chapters as your, your book has. And then you'll want to add the semantics as you go. So they have the cover, uh, whatever your title page, on down the text for your chapters. Now, the, the problem with EPUB, if you have written your document in a uh, as a word document you I wouldn't recommend just loading it in what you want to do to make sure all the coding is right is copy from your your word document and then paste it into a text editor like notebook and that's gonna give it a clean formatting so what you can do is then copy and paste that as I've done here and then you can adjust your formatting within the program itself so you've got all of your headers here you've got you whether you want to bold it or underline uh, center all the stuff um, if you want to make bullets I recommend just like I said, copy paste it in here and then do it within the program because that will reduce the amount of errors that you have. Uh, you've also got the uh, indent buttons here. And basically, once you've copied and pasted everything and you built out your book, um, you can also make a clickable table of contents if you want. Uh, and how you do that is basically go to whatever you want to bookmark, copy hit the little anchor, find your ID, what you want to bookmark, hit OK, go back to your table of contents, copy what you want to link it to, and then make a hyperlink. And then find that, you got chapter one, hit OK. So now, boom, go straight to it. Now if you built everything out, you want to validate your EPUB to make sure that there's no errors and you'll get either some errors which we hope won't happen or you'll get no problems found and that's great um, but if you do get errors the first time I loaded this I did have a few um, usually it'll tell you which line in the code that is, is something's wrong on and what I recommend you do if you don't know a lot about coding you can go to the Wikipedia EPUB page and there's already coding in there that you can just copy and paste and just verify and see like okay what part of the code do I need to, to put in and then you want to make sure you change your your individual information like your ISBN um, you know your your book title and that's just an easy way to kind of fix whatever's wrong uh, so once you've got everything and it, it's verified then you can just save it and find your file and I recommend loading it into uh, Calibre and what you can do is then view your final EPUB file as it would look on a Kindle or a uh, you know your iPad so you can check the formatting to see if everything is how you want it to be and you can even go through and check the links to make sure those are okay too. And when, and if you like everything, um, you can also edit the metadata inside of here and save it and then upload it to whichever publishing 
company you're going to go with. So uh, that's the basics of how you do that. And uh, thanks for watching. And make sure you subscribe and make comments below. Thanks.